morning, everyone. Virgo Triad here. It is Halloween, October 31st, 2017. Happy Halloween to everyone. Okay, I wanted to take a moment and um, make a couple of announcements. The first one is that um, I realize for those of you that are following me for debt consolidation information and for credit uh, report repair information, we have been a bit off topic this week. I will be going back to doing those videos. Um, in addition to those videos, I will be giving some additional sources on the um, series that I'm working on for working, um, making some extra money on the side. I have not abandoned that. It's just that we have had several uh, fraud alerts and an influx, it appears, in more people joining that um, are unaware of this fraud that's been perpetuated and I am trying to reach out to those people to let them know the dangers of involving yourself in using routing numbers and social security numbers. Now there's been some misunderstanding uh, with regards to what it is that I'm doing. I'm going to clear that up now for anyone who is listening. Number one, my motivation here is purely for the community of YouTube. I am not accepting Patreon payments. I am not accepting payment for debt consolidation services. I am not accepting any form of payment whatsoever at this point, and I will not be in the future in terms of accepting anything at all uh, as payment for consultation, for debt consolidation, or repair of your credit. Um, my purpose here, once again, is that I want to make sure that everyone stays safe. There have been numerous scam alerts that have either been updated to things like prosecution possible, uh, that that um, the scam alerts have been stating now that, it, that this activity is illegal, it constitutes fraud, and those are the reasons that I'm updating these notices. Now, furthermore, um, many people are going to tell you that this is fear-mongering, that I am attempting to scare you, that I'm a government agent of some sort. None of that is true. I am not attempting to scare you. I am attempting to inform you. These links are all in the descriptions of my videos. You can read them for yourself. When I do read them, they're read verbatim. There's nothing added into them unless I specifically state that this is my opinion. These are not my opinions. These are fact. Um, I am not someone who likes to scare people. I am not someone who is working for the government. I am someone who is concerned about the fact that when I first heard about this, I wondered whether there was any factual uh, evidence to this. I researched it for well over two months. As it turned out, I ran into that all of it was false. The majority of what's being said are, are uh, laws that are either misconstrued or added to uh, information that is being provided with regards to calculators on Fidelity and on the Treasury Direct Account uh, .gov sites are are uh, misleading and erroneous information. I began to get very concerned that people could find themselves in legal trouble because of these uh, quote unquote gurus spouting this information. Um, so I decided to go on my channel, which originally was just for family uh, movies and such. And uh, really only, I was really only posting for my grandkids at that point. And I decided that no, I needed to at least uh, in good conscience, let people know what was really happening behind the scenes. My, um, my previous work history in the financial industry assisted in uh, many different areas, for example, explaining how ACH really works. And I decided at that point, well, if these people are looking into this, the majority of them are having problem with debt, 
because of my history, uh, which I no longer work in the baking industry, but because I still retain that knowledge, I decided I could help in that area. That is it. That is the only reason that I am here doing this. It is not about trying to disinform anyone. It is not about um, attempting to uh, try to discredit other than what is factually uh, incorrect and erroneous, and those things can be proven easily with just a small amount of research. If you go back through my videos, that is exactly what I'm doing. I am showing you where you can locate and an actual hard proof that these things do not exist in the Federal Reserve banking system. There are other debt pools that do exist, but they do not exist in the manner the gurus are telling you. So that is the statement. Um, before I go any further, I do want to mention that all of these scam alerts that are up, I'm reposting or posting them for the first time because they are being updated. They are being updated to make statements that are much more harsh than what were originally provided to us when all of this started back in July and August. So um, here we go without further ado. Here is the notice that is new from the UMACH. Now that is a payment processing a group that handles AC, the ACH network. And what has happened is they have updated this notice to read that significant impact to Social Security Credit Union in Birmingham, Alabama and the Federal Reserve Banks. Uh, it has become something that is um, being noticed more and more. And as a result, they're, they are involving uh, the FBI and the FBI Cyber Division banks are beginning to call it in. They are beginning to turn people in. There uh, later on will be a video posted of numerous people who have made statements that either friends, relatives, or themselves have been arrested or have been brought in for questioning with regards to this. And so for those of you that are going to say, oh, it's just a scare tactic by the banks, it's just a scare tactic by Virgo, no, it is not. I have actual proof from members, subscribers, and commenters that are getting in trouble because of this. So please take a look uh, and a listen uh, to what I'm saying because the purpose is only to keep you out of trouble. Here we go. The uh, type of alert is fraud, statement of issue. Scam artists are instructing consumers to use the routing number of Social Security Credit Union Birmingham, Alabama to make electronic payments through the ACH network. This is related to the scam involving Federal Reserve Bank return uh, routing numbers that was reported via uniform payment alert this past Friday, August 11th. Now keep in mind, this very this is the very first uh, umach.org um, post of this was done back in August. This is an updated version. It is updated with uh, the um, uh, the new uh, FBI cyber division. Uh, agent address to email and it is updated with an urgent fraud update so I'm gonna go ahead and continue here items originated as part of part of this fraudulent payment scam are now using the routing number of Social Security Credit Union in Alabama there's been massive fraudulent activity for RDFI ABA 26208 please monitor origination activity to this ABA to identify high volumes of small dollar transactions or unusual spikes in volumes or block this ABA on all financial institutions uh, should report instances of fraud related to the schemes via email to the following fraud email at the New York Federal Reserve Bank and of course the organizations that are incurring any kind of a financial loss as a result of this fraud um, and of course that means anything all the way down to uh, non-sufficient funds charges that cannot be recovered simply because of the person doesn't have the account their account there um, should also contact special agent Brad Carpenter with the FBI cyber division at bmcarpenter at fbi.gov 
um, the narrative for the urgent fraud update that I'm referring to uh, is the information with regards to the FBI agent to contact, the fraud department to contact, and it states, uh, once again, the fraudulent payment scam last reported on August 11th is now using the routing number of the Social Security Credit Union in Birmingham, Alabama. Now, first of all, let me just say this. The um, Social Security Credit Union that's in Birmingham, Alabama and every other credit union that is involved with the Social Security uh, credit union has to do with a credit union for people who work for the Social Security, okay, for the Social Security Administration. So for those people that work for Social Security, just like the Internal Revenue Service has a credit union, Social Security has a credit union, and those are for their employees, like many other companies who have actual credit unions that their employees can enjoy the benefits of. Um, there has been massive, massive fraudulent activity for RDFIABA 26208-5863. Once again, please monitor origination activity to this ABA to uh, identify high volumes of small dollar transactions or unusual spikes in volumes or block the ABA on all new originations until you have fully investigated the legitimacy of the transactions. On July 31st and on August 11th, ePay Resources reported that the Federal Reserve Banks have received unauthorized transactions in which customers have tried to use the Federal Reserve routing numbers and their own Social Security numbers to pay their bills. The Federal Trade Commission also reports the federal that federal officials, consumer advocates, and businesses are hearing from people who have responded to ads, websites, phone calls, text messages, and visits from salespeople who are claiming that the federal government will pay their bills in exchange for a fee and, a per and personal information. In addition to videos currently available on YouTube, uh, attempting to convince viewers that they can legally pay their bills through Treasury Direct accounts. Scam artists are instructing consumers to use the routing number off of the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta to make both check and electronic payments through the ACH network. Other routing numbers being used in these scams include 0517-3615 Bureau of Public Debt in Parkersburg, West Virginia, and 02105-0466 of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Items originated as part of this fraudulent payment scam are now using the routing number of the Social Security Credit Union. There are many, many, many that are now coming up and making their own statements. I'm going to list this link in the description. You um, need to take a read of it yourself. And please, everyone, please understand. I, I know that it's hard and I know that it's something that you don't want to believe. But these this information is, is factual. You can contact the agent listed um, I don't know how to get it across any better. These things are happening. Later on, I'll be posting a video, as I said, of commenters who have either found themselves arrested, in trouble in some manner, interrogated, or uh, families, family members and friends that have been arrested or detained in some manner because of using these accounts. It's, it's, it's happening, it is illegal, it is considered bank fraud, and on my channel you will find many, many notices now of the Federal Reserve, the FBI, uh, the FTC, they're all letting you know this is illegal, prosecution is possible. So I hope everybody uh, takes heed, really pays attention to this, and uh, sits back and, and does not continue to do this type of activity. Um, thank you so much for your time, and I hope everybody has a great Halloween, okay? Bye-bye.